Hey there guys, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This time we're going to be doing Zero to Hero as the Ranger. We're not starting from level 1 this time, we are already level 20. Uh, I've just been playing a lot of melee and things recently, so I want to do something a little bit different and play Ranger. With the current perk setup, I feel like for Ranger there are a few different options, but currently we are going to be running Nimble Hands, Quick Reload, Sharpshooter, and actually Chase. Now I don't know if Chase is that good as a team really, or in teams, but for solo, I actually think this can be quite valuable. Just knowing when someone was roughly in your area, and especially with rogues, you can see when they're on stealth and things relatively easily. So we're going to be taking that instead. There are also a few other options. Uh, crossbow Mastery if you're running a crossbow. Kinesthesia is pretty good as well. Range Weapons Mastery, just a little bit of damage. Uh, spear Proficiency is also pretty decent if you have a spear. Trap Mastery, also pretty decent. Crippling Shot if you're using a survival bow. There's just a few different options, really. Enhanced Hearing, I don't know. Never run that. Might be good. And for our skills, whilst we have the recurve, we're going to be running a quick shot. We're probably either going to be looking at running a recurve or a longbow. I don't really mind which. Uh, we also are going to be running multi-shot. I think this is very valuable as a solo player. Whenever someone gets close to you, you can just hit them with a big like kind of shotgun and hit them with multiple arrows. I'm not sure if you can only hit people with only two arrows of this, but you, I know you can hit them with two with the possibility of hitting them with more. I'm not exactly 100% sure. But the thing is with this is this is like the triple shot before the nerf in the sense that you can use this in a longbow, it will shoot five. You can use this in a survival bow and it will shoot five. So with a longbow, this does really crazy damage. If someone, if like a barbarian tries to get close to you, you multi-shot them, hit them with two ha uh, arrows in the head. Yeah, that's gonna really hurt. And the quick shot, um, we would drop that if we had a longbow. If we had a longbow, we'd be running quick fire. But for now, we're just gonna run with the normal quick shot. Okay, of course, we're going in full base kit for now. Let's head into ruins and see what we can do. Okay, hey there, guys. We're into our first ruins high roll of run. I, uh, it's a shame. I had a very good run going in one of them, but... I missed a few too many shots on a Warlock and then died to Dark Reflection. I'll try and include the clip, but god damn, that sucked to die because we had pretty decent gear. It was just, our bow was really terrible, which is the main reason. Like, your bow is so important as a Ranger. You don't really want to be PvPing until you have a better bow, ideally. But of course, you know, you're not always able to prevent it. So, I think honestly, a, a lot of the time in base kit Ranger, a lot of the time you just want to use your short sword. Like, your short swords had much higher DPS than your recurve. Sure, your recurve recurve safer. But I think, honestly, a lot of the time, it'll help just to have the practice on the mobs, on the attack patterns. And it, you'll also just kill things faster with the short sword. So honestly, I think just using the short sword is pretty good. So let's take those loose trousers. Let's drop our doublet. Uh, I don't like how much it slows you down for how little armor it gives. And of course, no stats because it's a base kit piece. Let's go ahead and grab the shrine. Someone's within our VoIP range. Little tip here is multi-shot is very good for destroying boxes. Nice, we got some boots already. Uh, what else did we get? Blue treasure. Are these any good? Armor rating, magic resist. Okay, they're okay. So... Hmm, I think we're probably going to head south and try and see what the players who spawned in there are, gonna, uh, are doing. Let's sort our inventory out a little bit here, actually, honestly. Let's try that, sure. That sounds better. So, let's try and get this other box, and then, yeah, let's head to the south and try and see where the zone is. It's okay, right now, obviously, we have no info on where the zone is. Could be anywhere. I just want to try and find out whether it's east, west, north, south, just so we kind of can plan what we're going to do, at least to some extent. Man, the short sword sucks, like... Especially, you know, as most classes... Okay, we will take that doublet because 2 dexterity is okay. But, as, um, of course, your first upgrade that generally... Like, if you could choose an upgrade, you'd choose a weapon on most classes, right? Okay, that was a stupid hit. But, especially on Ranger, I feel like. Because the default weapons you spawn with are just terrible. They just do such little damage. Like, I think Ranger is probably the weakest PvP class. Uh, honestly, yeah. I think Ranger is probably the weakest PvP class in base kit. However, it, of course, scales very well with gear. People generally don't like playing against Rangers. Uh, but honestly, I feel like Rangers get a little bit... Um, people say they're, like, a lot stronger than they are. For solos, at least. In duos and trios, yeah. That's not really my thing so much. I don't really play that much, so... Could be a different story in uh, duos and trios, but at least in solos, it feels like 
a lot of the time you don't really have the DPS that people complain about and stuff. And if you're not careful, you'll easily die to like a rogue or, um, you know, fighters. Warlocks can be a bit of a problem depending on how well they play, but that's a bit of a skill matchup. It also just depends on your bow. Like, um, I feel like with Ranger, you have to have smart planning on, like, your locations. So, okay, so... Right, so the zone's, like, somewhat east and pretty much middle of the map when it comes to north and south. Uh, so let's just head up north here. Uh, honestly, we probably shouldn't have used that potion. We probably should have just checked to see if this Hull Shrine was up. It actually is. Um, we'll probably go over and just use that. That at least stops anyone else from using it. Uh, but what I'm saying about your positioning mattering the most... Of course, if people catch you in like a tight angle and you're, it's close range... You're not going to have a good time, really. Unless you can just put your weapons away and kite. Or if you just significantly outgear them or something. You kind of need to try and play around traps and use your actual poke to your advantage. So I think a lot of the time, honestly, just putting a trap down prematurely and playing around that is a smart idea. There's the ranger. I can hear someone into the west. It's a warlock. Ugh, I really don't want a team. He might be friendly, but I don't really want to be friendly. If I'm being completely honest. He might want to be friendly, but I don't want to be friendly. Okay. What, the, what is this? Why is everyone on the map here? There's a fighter, there's a... He wants to try and punch me in his plate gear. There's someone else here as well. Hello, Warlock. Greetings. There is a fighter. He is not a friendly ma individual. Hmm? I don't know what that guy said. I don't like this. I don't like being friendly with people, but honestly right now I feel like we'll probably lose to basically anyone who has a little bit of gear. We're also losing, obviously missing some health. I think we're just going to try and run east and hopefully not be involved in whatever bloody parties going on over here with the entire server. I don't like being friendly with people. But I feel like if we um, just started swinging on anyone who was there, we were just going to get ourselves killed. So sometimes, at least right now, feels like we couldn't have actually have done much there and actually uh, accomplish anything. I have no idea who that is in the darkness. I think it's one of the warlocks. I hear a cockatrice. Honestly, oh, yeah, I was going to say, honestly, let's try and kill the wolf without breaking the thing, but then I broke it. So let's just try and take this guy out. Took some stupid damage there. Wolf pelt? Uh, wolf fang? Mm, strengths? No. Oh. Alright, come on then. Damn, I even jumped there and it still clipped me. Or jump crouched and it still clipped me. Took a lot of unnecessary damage here. This is not ideal. Hopefully now we can head through here without aggroing anything more. There's some player in here. I'm not sure what that is, who that is. Let's open this up. Okay, there's blues here. Honestly, let's go ahead and open this blue immediately. Um, I imagine this place is already looted, because I think quite often a player spawns here if it, it if it's just not straight up guaranteed. Okay, well, there's at least one tomb that's unlooted, actually. Okay. We can pray for a better bow. We have very little money on us right now. Ooh. Is that okay? I guess we can at least take them to Vendor for now. Because it's very possible we just take this early blue, go in Vendor, and then try and buy a better bow on trade. You can buy better bows on trade for a pretty low amount. But I guess if there's any time that we want to be friendly, it's right at the start of a... Uh, Ranger run. Honestly, did, did people even go and loot the 
don't know if people actually even went down and looted the royal coffin, which is a shame, but we don't really have time to do that anyway. Uh, health pool is too low to actually just... I, I, if I Im immediately checked that, we definitely probably could have went down. But I don't know. What do you guys think about this meta of everyone just being friendly all the time? I understand that it's kind of... It's not forced, but it's kind of pushed by the developers. From the sense of... This guy's going to take out blue, but that's okay. At least now there isn't a rogue just standing next to us. Um, yeah, because obviously very the highest chance you die is to players, right? And generally, you get very little AP from actually killing players. You get like, you know, 8 or 10 or something. It's really, really low. It's not worth it at all. Like one green treasure, I think, is like worth more. Let's go ahead and grab these just for the movement speed. Um, I don't feel like it was what the devs had envisioned when they first made this game. I, I guess this is only really a solo issue. People in duos, obviously, uh, duos and trios probably just fight on sight for the majority of the time, which is a lot more understandable, I guess, but... I just don't know why everyone wants to team. I guess they just want to rank up safely, which I guess makes sense. I, I suppose it's because of them giving rewards for reaching demigod and stuff. People just want to get as high as they possibly can. You know what, honestly? Screw it. Let's just go to hell. Uh, sorry, not hell. Crypts and see what we can do. Okay, hey there, guys. Right, so uh, I actually do like the spawn. There's quite a few different places you can go. There's some pretty decent loot, pretty close. There is, of course, the... Skeleton Champion just down spawn. I don't ask me why he's in the bow. Let's just triple shot this guy and then switch to the short sword. Unfortunately, that we haven't found any better weapon at all yet. Honestly, like a melee weapon would speed up our clear. A um a bow would speed up our clear and increase our PvP potential by a lot. Like these guys take two headshots to die from the default recurve, which is kind of painful. Okay, well, whatever. There's a health shrine down here, so we have to remember that. Oh, true physical damage, frost amulet. That'll help our damage a tiny bit. Come on now, one damage isn't going to make it wholly different. Uh, of course, rock off and down here. Let's go ahead and grab this, see what we can do. There's also a lion's head pretty close. Perfect. We do actually have the zone to some extent, so we can loot these things and then... Or not have to rush immediately. Uh, quite a lot of gold here. Kind of... Oh, uh, wait, no. This is our first round. I was going to say, kind of wish I bought a gold gold coin purse, but <laughs> I guess for now let's grab the gold. We can definitely drop it if we find better treasures or items, things like that. Ooh. Blue protection pot is always nice. Come on, for a better weapon. That's really looking for a better weapon, like, soon. Please. Melee weapon, like arming sword, rapier, short sword. Uh, I'd even say spear if we had spear proficiency. I guess we could just take an early blue and then swap it out for early, or sorry, for spear proficiency. Let's go ahead and use the triple shot and then switch to the short sword. Now, while these guys are on lower elevation than you, just by a slight amount, you can't actually dock under their hits. You're still going to get hit. So that's why I kind of like kited him a bit more than I normally would uh, just, you know, immediately crouch a lot of the time. Okay, well, I guess I say about a spear and we get a spear. Now, that means let's drop a bunch of these things. Let's move our inventory around a bit. Is this? Yeah, this is five full slots. Uh, let's drop this stuff. Uh, yeah, let's drop that as well. That's a lot of the stuff we have in our inventory is pretty subpar. We were just taking it because I guess it's better than nothing if we were going to take that early blue. But of course, that rogue took that, so we didn't have to worry about that. Oh, I actually thought I honestly made that jump without taking any damage there. But let's quickly head back up. Let's go and take out the Skeleton Champion. Definitely going to take us a while, but it's okay. We have enough arrows. We did drop a few, but we'll choose it on the usual spot. Grab the Hell Shrine after. Probably going to use the bow to kill the Skeleton Champion just because it's going to take us 
Or just because it's safer. We're, you know, a little bit damaged. You can get hit here if you're not careful. Especially here if you have a low range melee weapon. Alright, let's go ahead and pull him. Come on over here, big guy. One thing to note as well is with multi shot, I'll demonstrate it on this guy actually. So when you're running low on ammo, or, you know, arrows, you can press E, and then obviously it'll go to do the shot, but you can cancel this instantly with pressing F, and it'll just have acted like you instantly reloaded five bullets. Sorry. <laughs> arrows into your, you know, quiver or whatever. So that can be useful sometimes, mainly with the longbow. Of course, your um, triple shot also instantly reloads three into your bow as well. Of course, at close range, generally you just want to use the multi-shot, if they're very close anyway. Honestly, this thing is absolutely useless past- Oh, Interesting, you managed to clip me there somehow. Must have walked out a little bit. Uh, it's absolutely useless beyond, like, a meter away, so sometimes you can use this a bit prematurely and just cancel it for the reload. Honestly, it's not that bad. Um, okay, let's check our skeleton champion. Still no key. That's an armor rating epic fine curse. Honestly, we might try and take that. I'm not sure how much that sells for on the market. Honestly, I never buy a plate armor or anything. Everything else it gives is pretty useless. So it probably won't sell for much, but I think we will just at least try it and see how much people generally think it's that uh, it's going to be worth. It's always good to learn about things on the market as well. Although we'll probably will um obviously we're going to lose out on AP for this, but it's okay. So let's go ahead and drop this shopper on as well. I think I prefer green treasures to blue items a lot of the time. We're going to check this one chest as well, and then we're going to head out of this room. The zone's going to be forcing us out. I'm hoping the new update is going to come soon. Uh, obviously, oh, okay. Rapier, finally a little a small upgrade for a weapon. It's still only grey. Uh, sorry, white, but either way, a small upgrade. So we might have to... This might get a little bit awkward here, because unfortunately this is an Axeman. Okay, let's try and open this. Can we shut it on him? Perfect, okay, we did. Hopefully from these skeleton archers or crossbowmen, we can grab a better bow. Probably just wishful thinking, and we probably won't be able to. Space out shots, use a triple shot. Oh, he only took three headshots, that one. Interesting. Another Grave Essence, more arrows. I definitely, I'm not 100% sure at this, but to me it definitely feels like mobs are more likely to drop the weapon type that they use themselves. So like, you know, bows and, or ar skeleton archers and crosswomen feel like they're more likely to drop bows than just melee skeletons. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if that's true, but it definitely feels like it to me. I don't have any data or anything, so I could be wrong, but yeah. Also, it just makes sense, right? So... Definitely feel like that might be a thing. Hopefully from these coffins, again, we're still looking for a better bow. Worst comes, uh, worst case, we'll probably just extract soon and grab a better bow off of the market. We probably will be doing trading in this one. I feel like um, Ranger as a class just appreciates trading a lot. Like, it's a very weak class in its starting gear, but the higher gear you get, it can feel very strong. Once you've got a nice longbow with the correct, like, setup for it, Feels really lovely. Honestly, I think recurve. I honestly, I feel like every bow type is viable. Some of them more so than others, but it also just depends on. You have to have the right loadout. So like, you kind of need crippling shot or the knockback for the survival bow, but it can work, you know. The recurve. I think the recurve is very solid as well. I feel like the longbow is still probably my favorite, just because you're able to keep the range. Or. You're able to do so much more from further range than the other bows. Bone. Are we going to be progressing our quests? We possibly might. So I guess we will go ahead and try and pick this up. Let's just drop 10 gold. That's fine. I feel like these bones are way too rare. You need like six of them in one of the early quests. And six is... Okay, I thought it was a player with a buckler for a moment, but no. 
One bandage, honestly, let's not even bother. We are still trying to listen out as well and see if we can hear any other players. But I'm not hearing anything right now. Uh, well, I did just hear a portal open, but nothing that actually sounds like players right now. Hmm. I think let's just stick with this for now. So how much armor rating does this fine Chris give? It gives 116. That is crazy. Okay, perfect. Red portal, that's easy 90 AP right there. Because I think that's a triple. And it looks like it. Okay, another neck, but it's not very good, so let's not even bother. Necks in general just feel like they don't sell for anything. Um, rings, on the other hand, rings feel incredibly overpriced. For this guy, you need to see what um, attack animation he does to determine how to dodge him. You either want to... One... Oof. You either want to duck that one, or if he does the overhead, just circle to the left. Okay. Took some unnecessary damage here. I think we're just going to open these portals immediately, just in case we have to run from another player or from the zone or anything. We'll see. There's another triple red portal over there. We're going to have to clear some PvE, but we should be okay. Is that a bard playing music? What the hell was that? I think it was. So I think to the north there is another. Uh, yeah, to the north there is another player. Probably a relatively low gear bard. Try and see what we've got in here. Let's just triple shot this. Right. Might take us a few, fair few hits to actually kill these spiders. Hmm. We don't have any blues or anything yet. I think we unfortunately might have to go to hell. Like, hell, going to hell is probably good a lot of the time, but you have to have, you know, quite high knowledge of hell, and generally it's pretty hard to get knowledge of hell. Yeah, damn, we don't have any time. We're just gonna have to go. Gonna have to go take a red. Alright, I mean... Our interaction speed is actually too low even there to actually even open that other set of reds. I really wanted to open those, but unfortunate. Um, now, this is going to be risky. Our weapons are so bad for being in hell. It's going to take us a long time to try and clear these mobs. If we get an unlucky uh, zone spawn here, this is just going to be the end of the run. I'm not knowledgeable enough about the map and the mobs to actually make it out consistently if we don't get a good zone spawn. If we get a good zone spawn, I should be okay. Okay, let's pray for a good zone spawn. Okay, we're, we're in it. That's good enough. Uh, let's throw a torch, see what we've got. I think this might be a skeleton... It's a nightmare skeleton with a shield, I think? I'm not sure which one is actually the, like... Thing that I'm supposed to be shooting. Oh, okay. Obviously, very high action speed on these things. If I hit the shield, it's going to reflect damage back at us. So we're going to have to make sure we're baiting this thing's attacks. Relatively easy. This is probably the easiest Nightmare Skeleton to deal with. Except maybe the one that doesn't have the shield. No, honestly, I think the one with the shield is even easier than the one without the shield. Um, I guess we can try and get some better loot, at least. Uh, right. Drop 10 gold, grab a blue bangle. I don't know if we have any white loot, really. A hunting trap. Um, because it's green, it went stacked. So let's keep our two traps. I feel like the rarity for the traps doesn't really matter too much. I believe it's just the speed at which you put them down. Maybe it affects the damage as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. But it definitely feels like, to me, you put them down faster if they're higher quality. I think diamonds are better than just normal things. This is going to be pretty risky. Oh. Alright. Yeah, there's the four ranged mobs. It's so dark, I'm actually like... Okay, no, I can actually see this one at least. Uh, I think we're actually just outside his aggro range. So, while it will take us a while, we should be able to kill this guy easily without taking any damage. Yeah, he's not even going to shoot at us. Okay, perfect. There is another one up there, and there's also two more up there. 
However, we're going to try and not waste our time. We also might need these arrows. Like, if we get stuck on a Demon Berserker, I don't honestly know if we even have enough arrows to kill it, even if all, every single arrow we hit is a headshot. It's a decent buckler, but I think we're not going to bother. What skeleton are you? You are a Nightmare... Just normal one, without the shield. So, relatively easy to take out. However, we definitely don't want to try and get in melee this guy, and... I mean, it's fine. This is probably the second easiest Nightmare Skeleton. It's nothing like a Spearman or an Axeman. Those are the real bloody killers. The Zweihander ones are pretty easy to deal with as well. As long as you just remember that you have to jump after ducking. Unfortunately, not able to hit headshots on this guy, so he's going to take a bunch of arrows. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so if they do the overhead, it's just one swing. However, if they do the diagonal, then they're going to then do another overhead. That's the difference with the Nightmare variant of this. And of course, they are faster, tankier, do more damage as well. And their loot is still terrible. Now, I think I can just about see the other Skeleton Archer there. Yeah, perfect. So what we're going to do is just sit here, not move anything, and kill this guy. It's going to take a little while, but it's okay. Somehow there, one of our triple shots actually missed. Even though I don't think I moved the mouse at all. Uh, the mobs also, I think you can drag them up here and they don't actually have smart enough AI to get onto this bit. So you can choose things here. Uh, mainly skeletons. I'm not sure about you know demon berserkers or anything actual, actually serious. These guys are okay, you just need to... Okay, so here comes the overhead. Yeah. 100% predictable on these, very easy to deal with. Only one new attack pattern, not that dangerous. Unfortunately, with health, while there are lots of chests, a lot of the chests are kind of low-tier chests, so they don't really help you too much. Okay, nice. A better upgrade. A blue arming sword. Slower, maybe lower range, but a lot better damage. So we'll definitely take that. Hope... We can hope again that one of these guys will drop us a bow. We could even go for a crossbow. Like, just, just any ranged weapon would be nice. That way we don't have to buy one on trade, but honestly, we'll probably get a pretty decent one on trade for relatively cheap anyway. So if we do have to buy one, it's not the end of the world. We did hear some portals. Uh, I can't remember which direction. I feel like they were over to the east. But we did get lucky with the zone here, and we have... Quite a lot of it to ourselves. Honestly, I don't think there's anyone else down here even. Okay, perfect. There's a blue portal there. Hand crossbow. I mean, I guess we might as well take it. Survival bow is not really what we're looking for. If I will take a survival bow if it's blue or above. But honestly, we don't have the loadout to utilize it. So I think just sticking with what we have right now. While this thing is terrible, it's Possibly better than a green survival bow if you don't have the correct loadout to utilize the survival bow. We also need way more arrows if we're going to use a survival bow. You know, we're running kind of low at this point. Uh, I've missed a fair few. I've dropped some to pick up more loot. Stuff like that. So we're probably going to peek our heads through here and see what is through here. There is also one more chest here. Uh, I don't go to hell often, so I'm going to apologize. If someone has good map knowledge of hell, there's probably all sorts of decent loot in here that I'm missing. I don't really know where the best loot is here. Especially because we need good loot that's also safe, right? And while I would be... I would absolutely be down to kill a Demon Berserker or a Centaur, I don't think we actually even have enough arrows to kill them at this point, so... Okay, let's try and kite this because I don't want this guy to dash because these things are dangerous. Nightmare Skulls with a double dash. They pretty much always hit you at least once. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll keep the one true damage rather than the uh, one physical power from strength. There is also a Skeleton Mage in here. I think this, this one died from three headshots, so it's okay. They drop relatively quickly, these. Uh, two will, two physical healing. I guess we'll take it. It might sell for a little bit on the market. It's not very good, but... If it was magical healing, that would probably be a different story. Hopefully this guy doesn't cast the invulnerable shield. I'm not sure how these are missing. How are these missing? 
These look like they are straight direct headshots to me, I'm not gonna lie. This is a nightmare one, I think, so it's gonna be even tankier than usual. These things are very dangerous with the fireballs. They have um, much higher damage, higher radius, and the fire lasts longer. God, he died. So tanky. How many arrows did I hit on this guy? I hit 11. Now, we did take the hand crossbow, but that means we do have one shot from that. You get one just ready in them. This is a pretty dangerous room. However, we're in, like, the safe part of it. We're in, like, a safe zone here. I don't think anything can actually... Oh, my God, that made me jump. Okay, I don't think anything can actually get to us right now. Um, let's drop these backup arrows. We're going to make our way out pretty much right now anyway, so... We don't need the arrows. We'll try and get some more loot. I'm not sure how you even open these doors. Oh, you can just open them. Okay, I thought they were like... A... I thought they were with a lever. Three magical damage. Alright, let's just get out of here. These things will destroy us, by the way. These are from... Um... Oh my god. Okay, I'm leaving before we die. I just want to say, those um, Nightmare Zombies, they spawn two gas clouds. Those gas clouds are fast, and they really, really hurt. So, yeah, be careful with those. So we got 980 AP. Uh, decent run. Honestly, we probably could have got more, but I feel like we got a bit unlucky with loot. Also, we did take this fine Kuros as well, so let's try and sell this on the market and probably adjust our perks. God damn right now, things are feeling overpriced as hell. So we bought this warden outfit for 200 gold. Oh, not worth it. Honestly, I wouldn't even have bothered buying anything. That's probably the smarter decision. But right now, we're going to just vendor these things. Gives us another 56 gold, but we're just going to stash it. So we bought this decent bow for, I think it was 200 gold. And then we bought this pretty average warden outfit for another 200 gold. This thing is so overpriced. I don't get it. Uh, right now, like, mark the market for anything except weapons is just insanely overpriced. I uh, should probably keep this leather cap for the quest, but honestly, let's just use it for now. Aside from that, um, let's stash this campfire. Let's stock up on meds. Let's change our perks real quick. We're going to be swapping out chase for spear profic proficiency. I do quite like chase, but right now we need to be able to use a spear, and I don't know what else we are going to drop for that, really. We don't need to use a spear. I guess we could have stuck with that blue arming sword, but I think I prefer this way around. So let's quickly sort our inventory a little bit. Let's store the Phantom Raid surgical kit. Uh, go stock up on meds, and then we are ready to go. Oh, I almost forgot as well. We need to swap out quick shot for quick fire. 50% action speed for 8 seconds. Uh, this is generally better than the double shot for the longbow. So yeah, that's what we're going to be swapping over to. Okay, hey there guys, we're into our next High Roller Ruins run. I Again, I do like this spawn, I've said this before. Pretty decent things you can get quite commonly in here. Hopefully our clear now is going to be much quicker now that we've got our pretty decent longbow along with our okay spear, blue spear. Should be two-shotting these, I would imagine. Uh, I've been testing it on the dummy and we're doing about like 90 damage per headshot now as opposed to, I believe, like... 30 something, maybe 40 with the um, recurve that we had before. So, yeah, now we actually do damage. Before you get to this point, we were not really doing much damage at all. But right now in trade, my god, everything is feeling so overpriced. But not everything. Weapons feel okay. But anything except weapons feel ridiculously overpriced. This is unfortunate, because we're not going to have much time to loot this stuff at all. Let's quickly go and loot this chest. Uh, we will take more arrows. We basically earned, like, zero money from the last run, by the way. It was all spent on gear and reinvested into it. Okay. Oh my god, I missed, really. So, we're going to go for... And cheese this guy. You can cheese him up here as well, I believe, but I think instead we're just going to quickly cheese him down here. We're going to have to, pretty soon after this, just leave. Due to the zone. So let's try and take this guy out as fast as we can. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to have time to kill this guy and to destroy the um, box. Or boxes. 
Although I guess we could just tank the zone, but we don't have a huge amount of meds. We are rather limited on meds, so not too sure about that. Probably honestly better if we just don't crouch. Okay, we did kill him pretty fast. We are doing decent damage. Our spear is not very good, but it is good enough to kill these things. Relatively quickly. Uh, right, we do have time to destroy these, but immediately after we've destroyed these, we're going to have to head out. Did we get anything good? Campfire, a bandage. Okay, let's get out of here. Where do we go? I think we head north. I'm so confused. I could have swore that I saw someone there. There was like a light. Okay. Oh my god. What? This crossbow guy, Jesus, man. Chill. Almost just one shot us. We immediately need to pop meds now. Let's make sure we use this one green bandage we got first, because it's not going to stack with any of our other ones, of course. Let's be a bit more inventory space conscious. Right. But especially when you get the longbow, this is when I feel like you have to really be careful about um, your positioning and things. Because if someone pushes you, it's going to be rough. Uh, I, I'm quickly curious. Let's quickly check our physical damage. Okay, 12%. Okay, so we have 12% with the... Um, what's it called? The spear out from spear proficiency. That gives you 10 physical power if you're unaware. Let's just not bother. We'll just lose a few hours. It's okay. Let's pop another potion of healing and let's just immediately head north and see what... Okay, so no one's within our void range now, so we're a bit safe for now at least. Someone... I'm not sure if they moved the spawn from here or what, or if people are just immediately leaving the spawn right now. It is a pretty dangerous spawn, so it would be understandable. I apologize for the dogs barking in the background. I can't really do much about that. Um... Oh, of course, immediately we find a better bow as well. Okay, no, so the guy just died by the look of it. Right there, let's go and see what class that is and see if they've got anything good for us. Looking like a... decent halberd. Is this... I mean, it doesn't really matter, but is this a warlock or is this a... Uh, better boots for us as well. Some more meds as well. Honestly, we appreciate that. Thank you to this guy. We don't have any lockpicks, unfortunately, so we're not going to be able to lockpick this. Honestly, let's just drop this recurve. We're, I don't think we're going to use it at all. Um, but it's just typical, isn't it? We went through ruins, crypts, and hell and didn't get a single bow upgrade. And then immediately after we buy one, we get a bow upgrade. While it's not good, just the base damage from a blue versus the base damage of the grey that you start with is just very high. So, Ooh, those are... Honestly, like how much move speed do we lose? We go from 245 with bow out to 248. We lose 7 move speed. But how much damage do we gain? 9%. Hmm. I think I prefer just being faster, unfortunately. I think this is too much of movement speed loss. Yeah. It kind of sucks, but I really think you have to be fast as a, a ranger. Your speed is one of your biggest advantages. Being able to hit some shots at range and then to engage uh, or to kite after that to gain some distance. You have to utilize doors quite effectively as a... Um... Oh, this is a nightmare one. Uh, ooh, almost clipped me with that. Oh, damn. I wasn't expecting a Nightmare one in here. Very, It's quite rare to get that. Not often you see a Nightmare Skeletons here at all. I don't really see them in hell. Okay, anyway. So, again, there's no one within our VoIP range right now. So we're actually having a relatively peaceful run right now. But I imagine to the west here, there's probably going to be a bunch more players. I would like to try and set up a trap somewhere. However, I need to try and think about where... That's a player. Is it? Yeah, it is a player. Well, 
let's set up a trap in this shadow here. Hopefully they didn't hear that, but very possible that they did. Okay, yeah, very bad matchup for a wizard. Just unwinnable, basically. Uh, let's take a look at this gear. This gear is pretty bad for us, but we'll definitely take it. Ooh, good run. My steam, I apologize. Ooh. Okay, Whew, close there. I apologize for my steam, I'll go offline in a second. Let's try, let's remember our trap here. Obviously I could hear someone to the east there as well. No idea what class they are, so. Okay. Thankfully, yep, he walked into our trap. That's why we set them up prematurely. It looked like just a basic rogue, this guy, so probably wouldn't have posed much of a threat anyway. Oh, physical... That's actually a way better neck for us. Let's take that, definitely. Uh, some decent treasures for us as well. So many lockpicks. Why did this guy have so many lockpicks? Uh, that's the bow we dropped earlier that he picked up. Interesting. Aside from that, a lot of this gear is pretty low tier. Let's get some more meds popped now. We've got enough meds, thankfully. So, uh, Bard had some gear as well. Hmm, I think we'll keep our gloves, honestly. Oh my god, how many meds does this guy have? What is this? Okay, we definitely don't need all of this. So, let's take that, because I think that is better. God, um... The rest of this is pretty terrible. Where's the wizard? Okay, here's the wizard. Let's just take a look at the core pieces. Let's also check the... So I hear someone else now as well. Please peek into this headshot. Ooh, he hit me. That was a good one. I did hit him, though, at one point there, I think, because he used a um, field ration. Ah, damn, this is taken. Is this guy pushing out into us? Right. Let's med up real quick. We have plenty of meds, so we need to use that to our advantage. There's a blue portal here. I don't think we really want to be taking a blue, but we absolutely can if we need to, of course. Let's open the blue before we um, try and push in here to the north. Because if we're in real danger, then we can run back. Uh, recurve at this range is probably, like, more favored than... Um, the longbow for the 1v1. However, the longbow, if we hit him, it's going to hurt, obviously, a lot more. So that's something to take note of. We absolutely can just take this red here now, whenever we'd like. Okay. Yeah, now, you can tell how much more damage we're doing now. It's significantly higher. Also, let's get more meds sticking already. Let's go ahead and grab the... take the red. 
let's just check these real quick. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. All garbage. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get a potion ticking. Head down into this red. Hope it's not trapped. It's not. Okay, perfect. Okay, right. So, relatively short into, or, you know, break, intermission, couldn't think of the word. I don't like this spawn, but I keep getting it, which is kind of unfortunate. We have so many meds. Honestly, let, we have way more potions than bandages, so let's actually just use potions instead of uh, bandages for now. Of course, it's going to take longer. At least we actually have weapons now to um, go through this a fair bit quicker. I do enjoy Ranger 1v1, so I would like to try and take that again. The only thing is, the recurve, obviously, he has much more maneuverability and stuff at those kind of ranges that we were dealing with there. So, with, he's generally going to hit us a lot more than we're going to hit him, but our hits are going to hurt considerably more. I would like to see his gear, because hopefully he's got like a better chest piece and stuff for us. So I'm definitely down to fight him again if we encounter them. Whether we will or not, I don't know. I thought I heard some audio there for a second, but I think it again was just weird audio. Maybe I'm hearing things, not sure. Okay, immediately part of tunic. Um, I guess we'll stick with this one for now. That was just the mobs proccing that. Let's head... Should we... No, no, no. let's go south. I think I prefer going south here rather than... Uh, I forgot to take a torch somewhere. Well, no problem. We've still got one. That's enough. Just need to make sure I remember to pick it up in the future. If you haven't used the spear either, I would recommend it. Like, I don't really think you should run it as ranger because obviously you're giving up a perk slot. I don't think it's worth really using a perk slot for. Unless, of course, you have a good spear and you have no other good melee weapons. Like the situation we're in now. Um, but the spear is quite a satisfying weapon. I kind of wish you got buffed or something, because I don't feel like it's really viable on fighter, and yeah, I don't think it's worth running a, s a perk for, as I said, on ranger, so. Okay, so hopefully, you know what, actually, I've changed my mind. Let's not go through this room. Let's cut through, or let's head south here. Okay, so the mob's still alive in here. And what we'll do is we'll try and cheese the skeleton champion and possibly the wraith as well from the room into the west. There's a pretty easy room to cheese it if we can clear through. It does take quite a bit of PvE clearing, so that sometimes might be a little bit of an issue, but for us it'll be fine here. If you're a melee-only class like a Barbarian, uh, yeah, maybe wouldn't recommend it, because you'll see when you get there. Some of the more experienced players probably already know the one I'm on about. There honestly might be another uh, more efficient room, but this is the one that I know of right now, which makes it very easy to choose the more difficult mobs. We'll check this log logic chest as well. Okay, there are some of those things there that are probably worth taking a look at. Okay. Um, well, the cap's okay. Oh, those are okay boots, but I don't think it's worth, again, the movement speed penalty. Uh, take a potion of healing. Aside from that, I guess we weren't really bothered with the rest of them. If we're doing quests, I guess we should actually have grabbed the leather cap, but whatever. For now, we'll just won't worry about it. How have you guys been doing anyway? How have your games been going? Have you been playing much, um... Dark and Darker recently? Are you waiting for the new patch? What are your plans? I'm curious what you guys have been up to. I haven't been playing too much Dark and Darker right now. I'm kind of waiting to some extent for the new map to come out. I'm really looking forward to that. Right, so yeah, this is the room I was talking about, though. It's pretty easy to cheese mobs. The only thing is... You do definitely have to be careful, because there are a lot of ranged mobs. If you're a Barbarian... Yeah, probably wouldn't bother, to be honest, but I don't know. If you're confident at clearing the mobs, then don't worry about it. It'll be okay. But as you'll see, like, there's two ranged mobs down there. I think there's another two or possibly even more up here. 
bad hit. There is also, of course, that health shrine down there, which we can go and get after. Unfortunately, we don't quite have the zone. So, oh, seven candy canes, one mob. That's crazy. All right. Come on. Lion's head as well. I believe it's... I'm not sure if it's always unlocked, actually. I was about to say it is, but I'm actually not 100% sure on that. Feels like it does have a... Most of the time it is unlocked, it feels like, definitely, but we'll see. Not sure if it's 100%. Uh, okay, perfect. Wow, we have a lot of candy canes. We have a lot of uh, arrows as well, which is good. Be careful to make sure we don't die to anything stupid on the way. But as you can see, like the um, quick draw extra extra action speed really comes in nice. Unfortunately, this guy's not dead. If he hits us with a headshot, we honestly might just die. Right. Let's cure out this zombie. There are also mummies here as well. Ugh, bad hit. But let's go and grab the health shrine after this. I feel a lot more safer when a health pool isn't so low. Perfect. Oh, we're going to have to kill this zombie as well. I don't think, unfortunately, that we're actually going to have time to choose the high value mobs in that room. Uh, just looking at the zone already, we're kind of having to move away out of here, so... I don't know if it's worth it. We do have a lot of potions and things, of course, but I don't know whether it's going to be worth it or not. Let's quickly go ahead and loot the lion's head, though, make sure there's nothing good in here for us. That's a decent cloak. What is our cloak? Our cloak has true physical damage, so we're not going to be replacing that. Uh, knowledge move speed. That's a decent... Like, those are pretty good bard legs right there, but... Not many bard players. People don't really buy bard gear too much or anything, so... Could even have been usable for wizard or something. Uh, yeah, forgive my map knowledge again. How do we... Okay, I guess we'll just head north and then cut through this room. Hopefully not aggroing any of the tough mobs. We should be okay. Our interaction speed is pretty damn high. Yep. Okay. This room can be a bit painful as well. Okay, we need to run, like, fast. I didn't realize those mobs were actually still aggroed on us, so we almost just died there. That was very, very close. Oh my god, okay, okay, risky, risky. Oh, Jesus, okay. We have a little bit of time here now to relax. Not much, but a little bit. As long as they don't hit the door with anything any uh, anything that will actually break it, like the crosswomen, the archers, the... Zweihander randomly swinging, anything like that, we're going to be okay. Was very worried there for a moment. Thought we Definitely thought we were going to die there. Uh, we're definitely going to need to pop these, some of these bandages now. Oh crap, the range is in here. I popped the blue pot just in case. It might have been a bit of a waste, but it's alright. Okay, there we go. Did manage to drop him. He, for some reason, wanted to try and bloody spear us, which is not a wise decision. Um, if he got even close to us, I would have just used the multi-shot. And the multi-shot 
really, really, really hurts. He would not have been able to survive that. Now, what do we do here? Uh, we open up this blue. We open up one blue. We go and check his loot, see if he's got anything of value, and then we just leave. Because we're not going to have time. A huge amount of AP here that we're going to be missing, unfortunately, but there's nothing we can really do about that. Does he have anything of value for us? Fear is worse. Hood is probably better. Uh, those are nice legs. Let's go ahead and grab those. That chest might be a little bit worse aside from that. Longbow, some... Grab some treasures. Meds, candy cane. Alright, let's get out of here. Ah, should we go to hell? Let's go to hell. Screw it. Okay, now why would we go to hell? Very good question. Um... Our inventory is pretty much full of decent things already, so we don't really have too much to gain. But I guess I was feeling spicy with it, so let's see how this goes. Uh, I'm not sure which spawn this is, really. We did get a little bit lucky with the zone. We're, you know, kind of partially in it right off the bat, so that's going to be nice for us. Let's start working on some of these sweats. Honestly, I can't believe that lived. I know it was a nightmare one, but even still... Go ahead and grab our arrows back. Uh, there's demon berserkers in this place, so this is a little bit of a spooky area. Honestly, we might be able to kill this before he even gets to us. No, nope, not quite. But these things are very easy to kill. Honestly, the only damage you're likely to take is, if you're not careful, you might take some of the reflection damage from their, like, nape. There was a Demon Berserker there, so we're definitely going to be careful there. I can hear a skeleton right through this room. It makes Because it's already alive, yeah, it makes me think it's a ranged one, so it, it can't really be that much of a threat. The only thing I was worried about is whether it was a Nightmare Axeman or potentially Spearman as well. Swordsman I should be okay with. Uh, hopefully I've learned enough of the attack patterns at this point to not have to worry about those. Uh, I'm just completely wasting this potion, but it's just for space. I wanted to grab this golden tooth. Unfortunate that I missed an arrow there. Um, possibly could have killed this guy without actually letting him get a cast off. If I was paying a bit more... If I was a bit better with the accuracy, I'm not sure where this is going to go, honestly. I was going to say, I felt... I had a feeling that... Oh, God. That stuff, as I say, that was a nightmare zombie, so that's really going to hurt. Okay, perfect. Need to be careful of these demon berserkers. And the gas clouds as well. Really don't want to walk through those. They're going to do... Like, uh, in one of my fighter runs, I walked through these a little bit. Of course, they do magic damage, so the PDR really doesn't help. In fact, it just makes you slow, which probably makes you take more damage. But these things really just shred you. Um, right. What low tier treasures do we have? Let's try and upgrade some of our loot. At least try and make it a little bit worth for us to have gone down here. Now, you can't jump up on the Hell Shrine, of course, anymore to cheese the Demon Berserker. So, let's have a quick look to see if there's anywhere where we can. The thing is with Hell is... I think a, a lot of these rooms don't have any places for you to choose these higher tier mobs. So we might just have to try and clear out the rest of the room without aggroing him, ideally. We are kind of stuck between them a bit. I don't know how much health these really have. I know they're not the tankiest things ever, but they definitely will get to us. Okay, that was a Nightmare Archer there, of course, so it actually hit us with a triple shot. Well, it didn't hit us, but it definitely tried to hit us with it. So aggro these mobs down here. Let's try and be smart about this one at a time. Let's not aggro the Demon Berserker and anything else at the same time. We might even try and avoid the aggroing the Demon Berserker at all. We probably will, in fact, because I don't think we're going to be killing that guy. Zone's still okay. We are going to have to move a bit soon. Old cloth, not enchanted cloth, or enchanted dark fabric, unfortunately. 
those are pretty good legs, but we already have relatively good legs. So I don't think we're going to swap. Possible here. Okay, we actually can choose the Demon Berserker here. I'm uh, going to show the multi-shot cancel here, obviously. Just do that. Five arrows straight back in. Okay, people who are knowledgeable at health probably screaming about that you can choose it like this. If you are relatively new to health, like me. Here you go, here's a little tip, I guess. You can choose things like here. You can probably even melee this guy here. Even if you don't have a long-range weapon like a spear. Guy is actually quite tanky by the look of it. Took him out, though. That's going to make this room a lot safer for us. Okay, perfect. I hear a portal spawning close to us. Uh, didn't really get anything good loot-wise from that guy, unfortunately, but it's to be expected. Let's try and take out this archer as well. Okay, I think we've cleared out most of this room. Another nightmare skeleton. Let's not worry about him too much. Doesn't pose much of a threat. Bait the hit, open up his head for some headshots. That slam down might actually, um, might have not been able to, like, stop that from hitting his shield and would have took some damage in return there. Not the biggest deal, but there's another Nightmare Skeleton here. Lion's head here. Oh, it's locked. But we have lockpicks. Let's pull it over here. Okay, perfect. Right. Let's go ahead and loot this lion's head. Okay, perfect. Some blue... big... treasures. Let's drop the oil lantern. We'll keep that. Uh, uh, one health pot can go. Uh, aside from that, do we have anything else low tier? Yeah, that can go as well. Perfect. Are these any good physical power? No, not particularly. Anything else up here? Heavy ornate chest as well. Make sure we loot that. And aside from that, we are going to be heading out of here. Loads of gold. Another 50 straight gold in there. Another chest here. <laughs> Green survival bow. Perfect. Those look like decent magic power boots, but... Let's not worry too much. Let's just check if... If these are abyss... They're okay, but they're not amazing. We'll kill this guy, and then we'll head out of hell and see how much AP we actually got from this. Pretty eventful run here. Kind of a bloodbath. Is there anything else in here that we want to loot? I guess we can kill the... Okay, Zone's coming in. Let's just leave. Zone's obviously not such a huge threat immediately, but... Whatever. Let's head out of here. One thousand and eighty-one AP. That will take us up to the green ranks now. So, yeah, we're getting a higher. Uh, should have got a decent amount of gold from here. Hopefully, we got some quest items. We got at least the one bone. I think it's actually Tavern Master. Probably needed the. Okay. Yep, it's nice. So now we're like kind of halfway done on this. But broken skulls are pretty low drop chance. The rusty broken swords feel pretty low as well. Let's see how much money we got real quick. From our pure sellables, we got 400 gold. Plus 9. We got a bunch of quest items and things and crafting items. We got 13 candy canes. We got 50 extra raw gold. We got a bunch of health potions, way too many. We have a bunch of... Uh, lock picks. We'll put this spare one away. We'll just bring in these three. We, of course, got some more jewelry. Let's take off anything that isn't very good for us. We'll equip the strength one. 
We got this pretty nice amulet to agility through physical power. The true magical damage, of course, can't utilize, but it'll be okay. Again, with this uh, cloak as well. This is will and two magical power, but the true physical damage does proc for us on a bow. So again, that's kind of okay as well. We have a pretty okay kit now. We would like to fill out our jewelry and hopefully find a better chest. But I think that's going to be it for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far into the video and you've enjoyed, I'd appreciate likes massively. If you'd like to see more like this and you're not already, consider subscribing. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.